Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for December the 13th. Today in 1577, Francis Drake left for his voyage around the world. He would go on to successfully circumnavigate the globe, the first English explorer to do so, on a journey that took 1,020 days. Drake had sailed into the Caribbean a few times on trading missions, and he had learned about how to navigate around the West Indies on these trips. Five ships set sail from Plymouth, and the Golden Hind, which was called the Pelican at this point, was the largest. The Golden Hind was renamed when the ship reached the Pacific, and it was the only one to come back, and 56 men made it home with him. The point of the journey wasn't actually to sail around the world at first, it was simply to try to intercept some gold and jewels that the Spanish were removing from South America. And Drake had captured 26 tons of silver, half a ton of gold, thousands of coins, pieces of jewelry, and jewels. After he captured the goods, he couldn't go home the way he'd planned originally because the Spanish were waiting for him. So he moved up north on the Pacific side, up the coast of present-day California, he actually made it all the way up to Vancouver trying to find the Northwest Passage. He wasn't successful, and so he had to turn west and head to Japan. He sailed across the Pacific Ocean, past the northern coast of Australia, into Indonesia and the Spice Islands, where he also got six tons of cloves, which were almost worth their weight in gold at this time. Then he went southwest past India and around Africa. People in England were surprised when he returned home, as he had long been assumed dead. He was nicknamed El Draco by the Spanish, and he was knighted by Elizabeth. That's your tutor minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where there are several episodes on Drake and the explorers of the Elizabethan era.